Today, let's talk about TikTok marketing for authors. I've been using TikTok for a couple years now to sell thousands of books. If you are steadfast against TikTok, this video probably won't be helpful for you and that's okay, but I wanna share why it's my favorite platform, why it is so good for books, and then some tips to help you master the platform. Now, before I get started, I wanna introduce myself. My name's Shelby Lee. I am a best-selling writer. I have grown my overall social media platforms to over half a million followers, and I'm really passionate about helping other authors succeed on social media too. In fact, I've helped now over 500 authors with TikTok. So that is why I have some expertise in this area. I have a social media background and worked with large brands on social media for years. That is me. And let's talk about TikTok. Now, here is why I love this platform. Think of Facebook or Instagram like seven, eight, ten years ago when organic growth was king on those platforms. Every new social media platform seems to have this amazing period of organic growth and TikTok is one of the best. And even though people think it's been out for a while now, the organic growth is still there. In fact, I've had my biggest growth period this year alone, so it is not too late to get started on this platform. Now, the other reason that it is absolutely amazing for authors is because the book talk community is fabulous. I am sure you have probably heard of the authors that have completely blown up because of readers on TikTok sharing their books and making content about their books that has sent authors to the New York Times bestselling list. That is why you should be on this platform if you haven't already given it a shot. The other reason that I absolutely love TikTok is that it is so informal and authentic. You can film with your phone, you can be yourself, you don't need any fancy equipment, fancy editing tools, anything like that. I use my phone and my closet to record my voiceovers, which is kind of dependent on my genre, but it depends on what genre you write. You might not even be doing voiceovers at all. The last thing I want to say is that you can be successful on TikTok without showing your face. I know that that's a concern for a lot of authors who don't want to be on camera. I definitely recommend that you work to get over that fear and you do try to be on camera sometimes, but you absolutely do not have to be on camera to have success on TikTok. In 95% of my videos, I am not on camera. And before we dive into the tips, if you are like ready to go, you're all set to join in TikTok after just hearing my little spiel. By the way, I'm not affiliated with TikTok at all. I'm just a user and a lover of the platform. I do have a book sales and book talk guide. Over 500 authors have used this guide now to help them master the platform. There's video tutorials, post ideas, walkthroughs of how to actually use the platform, set up your profile for success, and get readers to read your book from your videos that you make. So I will link it in the description of the video. Okay, let's get into some TikTok tips. So after you download the app, you get started. All I want you to do is just scroll through the app. Before you worry about what kind of content you're going to make, just get on the app, download TikTok, and start scrolling through. At first, your algorithm's not gonna know who you are. They're not gonna get what you like, so it's gonna take some time. And what you wanna do is you wanna search for your genre or search for book talk and start getting a sense of what types of content people are posting. And then you can just start clicking through and scrolling through, liking videos that you like and scrolling past videos that you don't. And the more that you engage with other readers of your genre, readers who are posting about book talk related things, authors who are posting book related content, you'll start to see what kinds of videos you can make and what you enjoy making as well. It's a great idea to do a a little bit of research on videos that are doing well, video formats that are doing well, as well as paying attention to sounds you like. You can save sound. You can also see what keywords and hashtags people are using in their videos and just really what types of content are engaging. Do that for a couple days, spend a little bit of time each day scrolling through, following some book talkers that you like, and then you can get into making content. But before you've made content, you want to perfect your profile. On TikTok, you don't have a lot of space to describe who you are and what you do, so you need to make it really short and snappy and really call attention to who your readers are. And so it's really important to know who your ideal readers are. Also try to, if you already have other social media platforms as an author, try to keep your username the same. It can be helpful if it's your first and last name followed by books or author or something like that so that it's really clear that you are a writer. And then in your bio, you want to be really clear about who your audience is, speak directly to them and say what you do. So you can either list things like I write blah, 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 check it out here, or you can be a little bit more specific, which is what I like to do. And I call it a mission statement. You want to really showcase what you write and why. And again, there's not a lot of space to do that in TikTok, but it really is helpful to really call attention to your reader from the start. So this could be helping others feel less alone through poetry, which is something that I like to say a lot for myself. But if you're a thriller writer, it could be 
keeping you up at night with my thriller books. If you write romance, making you believe in love again with my romance books. And I love just using the word you in your TikTok content, especially your bio and your videos, which we'll get into in a second. You cannot have a link in your bio until you reach a thousand followers, which is kind of a bummer, but that's okay. You can always link your Instagram to it. So there's a way to connect your Instagram. If you go to edit profile, link your Instagram, and then you can always direct people to your Instagram to follow you there, to click the link in your Instagram bio since you can have one there. So that's a way that you can still get traffic to your website or wherever you want people to go until you get that a thousand follower mark. But let's talk about getting that a thousand follower mark. How do we do that? So the first thing I recommend after you've done your research, after you fill out your bio completely, is starting to create content. What you need to make a good video is a couple of different things. The first thing is a hook. And by that, I mean, we need to hook people's attention within the first second, or they're going to scroll through. TikTok is a very, very fast paced platform. You have very little time to hook people's attention and get them interested in your content. So what you're going to do is you're going to come up with a hook. And this could be a text hook, which means that you add text over top within TikTok. It's very easy to do. You add text that hooks people's attention, or this could be a visual hook. So what you're seeing on the screen is really captivating, really intriguing. People want to watch more. It could also be an audio hook. So adding a sound that makes people want to stay and watch the rest of the video. There are loads of people making original sounds through TikTok that you can add to your own video, or you could always create your own. So those are the different types of hooks. You can always mix and match and have a text hook and a audio hook. You'll get a sense of the types of hooks people are using whenever you're scrolling through BookTok. But some examples of this that are common with book talkers are things like, would you read a book that has dot, 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 and then you share some different tropes or some different features of your book. And that can get people engaged because from the start you are saying you. So when someone is scrolling, they see, oh, they're talking to me. What do they have to say? And they stop and they want to see what you have to say about this book. Will I read this book? I don't know. Let me see what it's about. So that's how you can hook people with text. You could also say that out loud in your video and hook them with audio too. And then the second thing you want to do is have something interesting on the screen. It doesn't have to be anything revolutionary. We're probably most often going to be showing either us in our videos or our books. And so what a lot of authors will do is they will flip through the book and just do a page flip. They'll, um, I wish I had a book here. Let me grab one. So a couple common types of videos on TikTok are page flips and spine flips. You'll see examples if you get on TikTok and look at other book talkers and other authors, but a spine flip is where you have the book like this from the video and you're shooting from above and you film this video on like a nice clean background, maybe on um, the floor or a table or something like that. That's a little bit more clear. You're going to film it like this from above and then lay over text about what the book's about. So you could say again, was you read a book that has, and then list out tropes, or this book will make you blah, 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 list out different ways that this book will make you feel, for example. And then you let it go for six, seven seconds. People are intrigued. They're wondering what the book is that has all these tropes that they love. And then you flip it at the last second so that they can see the cover of the book and the name of it. That's one example. Another example is a page flip, which is very similar where you film yourself flipping through the pages or someone else flipping through the pages up close. You lay over text over top. You might lay over quotes from the book or the plot. You could just summarize the plot in a few lines and people are reading it. They're really intrigued. What's the book? And then you show the cover at the end after you're done flipping through it. Those are a couple really common ways of doing it. There are so many different types of video content that you can make with book talk. A couple other really quick tips because I get these questions a lot. When do I post? How often do I have to post? And those questions have different answers. So what I would say is with how often you have to post, whenever you're first starting out, I really recommend posting consistently. You also want to get to that a thousand follower mark so you can have a link in your bio. So I really recommend that you post one or two times a day to get that initial traction and start growing your following faster. In terms of when to post, it really varies. I truly believe that it doesn't really matter what exact time of day that you post. If it's a good video, it will get engagements regardless. But once you start growing a following, you can actually go to your analytics and see what times of day are best for your specific audience. And that's what I would go off of with what times you post. That's what I've always followed and what I've recommended to other authors as well. If you cannot post multiple times a day, that is okay. I, for the most part, have always posted just once a day and been fine. I've skipped days and been fine. Just try not to skip long periods of time after you make your account because it's good to be active and engaged and keep the algorithm in your favor. So you might be feeling a little bit overwhelmed. So I've 
nummies and you just chill out. I know that learning a new platform can be very overwhelming and it can seem like a lot to film new content for a new platform. So here are a few tips for you on how to save time with TikTok and not be overwhelmed. The first one is knowing that repurposing content can be so good for this platform. Once you learn what format of video works really well for you, and by that I mean page flips or talking videos where you're showing up on camera and speaking to the camera, there are videos where you can just be completely silent and it's just showing you and then you add text over top. There are so many different formats, but once you find out what works for you, stick with that. This is what a lot of us do that see success on TikTok and have large followings and have sold a lot of books through TikTok is we've seen what works for ourselves and we have repeated it a lot. So there is particular sound that works really well for you or a particular format of video that works really well for you or a particular link that works really well for you, which by the way, I do recommend trying to stay between the seven to 15 second mark whenever you're first starting out. But that saves me a ton of time because I know what works for me and I just repeat that. And the second thing is you can also make a lot of stock content. And by that, I mean just filming you flipping through your book from different angles, from different backgrounds and settings, filming different spine flips from different backgrounds and settings, um, recording different stock content of you typing or you writing or or something that fits your genre really, really well. Um, some authors will use stock footage from websites where it is copyright free or royalty free. You want to always make sure that you're not using someone else's copyrighted work. Um, but there's people that do that. I do recommend trying to make your own content to start. Other authors might disagree with me, but I really think that TikTok is an authentic platform and they don't want to see professionally made videos. They want to see you being authentic. So that's what I recommend in terms of content and footage and stocking that up so that you don't have to be filming every single day. You have this backlog of footage. And then the other thing is whenever you are scrolling through social media, save ideas, save sounds, write it in the notes app on your phone and try to film like once a week and just make a bunch of videos and then you're done for the week. You just have to go on and post them. Um, that way you have some stuff backlogged. You don't have to worry about it every single day. All you have to do is just film once a week and then you're good to go. The final thing I want to share with you is that at this point, short form vertical content is really popular on so many different platforms. So it's not like you are only making video content for TikTok and then you'll never be able to use it anywhere else. It's really good for Instagram reels. It's good for YouTube shorts. It's great for Pinterest pins, Facebook reels. So there's so many different ways to reuse and recycle and repurpose this content that you're putting your, your time and energy and creativity into. So if you are wanting to get into TikTok, you're diving in, you don't know where to start and you want a guide to help you start. I hope this video was helpful. And if you need more, please check out the book talk blueprint. I will link it below for you. This is my step-by-step -step guide with video tutorials on how to use TikTok and make more book sales with TikTok. I hope this was helpful and I would love to hear from you in the comments. Tell me about you. Tell me about your book. Tell me about how you've been using TikTok or if you're going to get started using TikTok. Thank you for watching. Happy TikToking and happy writing.